Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week. And it's the third, right? But time is fluid, so we know how it goes. And we do have the strength in reverse, Leo energy, and we do have the Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy. But it can be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles twice. So that is an offer on the table, an offer of commitment, Scorpio, actually. Um, of course, strength in reverse, somebody might be a little bit, um, you know, not in control. Uh, right now of course can be a Leo at a distance or a fire sign at a distance can be physical distance can be emotional distance it might not be like 100% top shape because even the knight of wands in reverse they might come across as lacking passion a little bit um, you know not being in it uh, or they don't look like being in into the situation or you know uh, but the offer of commitment I mean you have twice the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so I would say oh yeah they are committed so Scorpio in the past on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see the energies right now on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's see the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. Oh yeah, that is confusion about love, Scorpio. This this overall reading, I mean, speaks volume. That is some confusion because somebody might not look very passionate. Knight of Wands in reverse, I mean, he's, his wand is hanging, right? So it's like they are not very passionate about or they don't don't look like, you know? But guess what? Knight of Cups, that is love and that is a solid offer on the table. Yes, it does look small. I agree. It is here, but it is love and it has potential for the future. So I'm just saying. Um, so Scorpio, in the past, um, well, that was a secret that you are uh, ashamed of. Um, on your side, we do have the shame card, the six of wands in reverse. So that was, um, that was a shameful situation that we um, were kind of unable to express. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse, we had nobody to talk to. It is something we can't say and probably it was um, kept secret. Ace of Swords in reverse, it is actually the, one of the secret cards. Um, and probably you were stuck with the truth um, that was kind of hunting somehow your um, energy, your vibe your dynamic uh, in regards to this person and um, and maybe they did something you know and you are not proud of and it was like or maybe you did something you are not proud of and now you have this energy of oh my god I'm <clears throat> for the rest of the commitment I will have to kind of live with it um, Scorpio, the person you are dealing with, they have the lovers, Gemini energy and uh, the devil, Capricorn energy, but this is love and temptation. So you were their love and you were their temptation. Um, together they speak of, um, of lust, they speak of um, a passionate bond, um, some codependency issues there, something that is uh, like over the top can be and it is um, such an interesting energy because it can go very good but it can also be very bad um i also feel um scorpio that you might be dealing with somebody who's uh, very intense in love the devil is an intense energy and yeah it is a card of fear but um you know maybe uh, maybe you are dealing with somebody who was afraid in the past of love and commitment but I, this is not how I feel, not with the overall energy that we know kind of transcends uh, the whole reading and ties up the whole energy. So that is love on the table. So yeah, they loved you, but maybe in an intense way, maybe in a passionate way, maybe sometimes um, being a little bit too much, maybe for you. And um, that might be, again, the devil is about addictions, um, you know, all kinds of, and maybe this is why you have the shame card on your side, because there is something you are not proud of in regards to this person and the connection that you have with them. Mutual energies between the two of you, nine of wands and king of wands. 
again this um, uh, person might be a fire sign that is a strong indication of a fire sign but again can be a Gemini Capricorn um, upside down energy right like I don't know if at some point somebody lacked passion or they walked away or there was no intensity whatsoever and uh, you got hurt in the process nine of wands is the wounded warrior it is about blocks being um you know uh, put between you and this person but then it's in reverse so we kind of managed right to adjust the blocks and the walls and then we got back to love and passion and then we put them back again and it looks like very soon I'm, I'm gonna change a little bit because the energy the uh, light is a little bit too light so uh it will change very soon because we i mean in a in a in an instant because we do have the um the offers on the table and it's something that's grounded but in the past i i, I agree that was love but there's that was maybe also some hurt and some mess in some way well energies right now scorpio what's going on we do have the five of pentacles we feel rejected and maybe disconnected and away from this person and we have the full in reverse we are resisting a new change we don't want to turn our back on the situation we might blame it on impulse and uh, kind of a reckless energy from this person um and um I mean, but our soul hurts, right? Scorpio, we are a little bit in pain over here. And in a cold kind of spot, right? That is, um, um, the connection is not warm, right? Five of Pentacles. I mean, it's winter and it's windy and it's stormy, right? Uh, and yet we are resisting a new beginning. We have the full in reverse, um, right? That is no new beginning that we want for now. Um... Scorpio, this person has the world. They um, they want to end and drop something. Um, you know, they are willing to... Uh, but let's see what. Maybe it's the devil that they are willing to drop here. Um, this is about happy endings, the world. So um, this is an energy really of your soulmate, really wanting to finally come to safe shores, right? And in a happy way and um, ending something that was no longer serving them. Um, and drops um, but let's see what right we don't have the two of ones they are at crossroads and resisting a change and they want to drop let's see nope still not having it they want to drop something and go back to a situation they never really turned their back on they are quite impatient to go back to let's see Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, this might also be a, a sense of fairness that they want to have in this situation. But honestly, they what I don't know if this is uh, your soulmate, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and they are quite impatient to drop a situation and go back to stability, go back to something, you know, to a state of, um, you know, balance, because two of pentacles in reverse is kind of difficult to keep their balance right now. And they want to go back in shape. They want to go back in balance. And for some of you, they, they might be thinking of returning to a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that uh, they never turned their back on. Mutual energies between you and this person, Scorpio. We have a, lot, a world of regrets and a lot of missing, wanting, and longing with the Five of Cups. But then we have the Sun in reverse. We are not happy right now, Scorpio. Both of you, you are not in a happy place. Uh, it's like both both suffering. And again, this energy of secrets, if upright is about truth, right? The sun in, re in reverse is about secrets. Ace of Swords is about speaking your mind in reverse. It's like, no, I'm keeping it under wraps and I'm keeping it a secret. So that is something that is not really told. That is something that is not really expressed. And and um, that is this um, energy of, of um, staying away. That is an energy of I'm not going anywhere, but I might stay at the distance. Five of Pentacles and the other person um, has the world and the two of Pentacles dropping something because it is out of balance. Might be only a thought right now because it comes from a place of disillusion and confusion and not seeing the situation for what it is. 
and five of cups emotionally unstable right it's about an emotional loss it's about not being in in, in the right place in the good place um and this is how it feels now moving forward i love this scorpio because we have six of swords peace of mind and reciprocation going back to balance six of pentacles is the justice in minor arcana is uh finally finding your peace um, speaking your peace with the Six of Swords and speaking your mind and also getting in that um, energy of uh, quieting your mind because it might be a little bit um, noisy, right? Six and six, somebody um, might be, um, you know. And Scorpio, the soulmate you are dealing with, they want a family and a foundation with you. And the February, we do have the four of wands. This is the marriage card, the commitment card, the house and home card, um, and the children and the whole. Um, and yeah, they are uh, going back to passion and it so makes sense because Knight of Cups uh, and Two of Pentacles twice. They have an offer and they want stability with you. But right now, that is a confusion. That is, again, might be another queen involved somewhere right with the queen of swords that is or maybe this is your soulmate being cold queen of swords speaking their truth being cold being distant because they are trying right to um to drop something that is very heavy on them and they want happy endings with whatever they are struggling with mutual energies between the two of you ten of swords and ten of pentacles in reverse um somebody never never quite got over a betrayal here scorpio we do have the ten of swords that was i don't think new betrayal is coming um you know because on your side we get back in balance and we have so, so beautiful so many offerings of commitment or offers on the table unless you have somebody that you think about and they might come in like a second person or something but I feel we are finally getting that peace of mind that we want and deserve and we uh, get back to balance. But between the two of you, it's like that sword always hanging between, uh, you know, over your head and your soulmate's head. And it has something to do with uh, ruining a family. It has something to do with divorcing somebody because we have the family card in reverse. So maybe you guys got divorced and you know it's um still painful or you know that kind of energy but this is also um i don't know kind of yeah i don't know that is a noise guys anyways um or this is um you know somebody had to divorce the other person or somebody else that that is a betrayal and that is a family and probably a family betrayal of some sort and we never really but i love that energy because that that is an energy of love and lust that is an energy of loss honestly and now that is an energy of getting back to commitment so yeah if you're wondering if they want to stay committed yes they want to stay committed that is the um, energy we are getting right now. And in terms of zodiac signs, you have Leo Sagittarius, but can be Aries Leo Sagittarius. Of course, you have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Fire sign again, Gemini, uh, Ca uh, Capricorn, Leo again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and uh, Fire sign again. It's interesting because I I hope you know your soulmates. We do have the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. This is a connection meant to be. It is probably a little bit stressful because one is upright, one is in reverse. Indication of, of distance, indication of emotional distance here. Uh, but at the end of the day, these people are supposed to be together, right? So let's ask for some guidance, uh, Scorpio. Let's see what we are supposed to do with this soulmate of yours. And we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So what is our next holidays? It's like in a, in a week or so, right? We have codependency. Oh yeah, we saw it with the devil. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, Scorpio. Somebody is struggling and battling. Uh, some form of or maybe between the two of you that is a codependency 
We also have healing family issue. Your love life benefits as you forgive. It says your parents, I do believe, is your partner. Um, so yeah. And bottom of the deck, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And um, and we have the, the energies of this connection. And I believe this is really good advice, uh, Scorpio. Getting to know each other. And uh, this is always right, right? Applying to, uh, you know, because we can live with somebody the whole life and not knowing the full extent and the richness of, of their uh, being, right? So we are really um, kind of, um, you know, guided to rediscover uh, this person, Scorpio, and allow them to rediscover you or, you know. For of thought. Another card of silence, uh, Scorpio, there is too much silence in this. Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation won't, won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Step should be. Um, meditation can be very helpful. Yeah. Bringing yourself in balance. Nine of thoughts. You are stressed, right? Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive. There is no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. Ace of Wands, this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action, and if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. Beautiful. And we have the Magician, manifest your dreams. I love the Magician. So Scorpio, it says you are ready to go. There is no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. This is such a beautiful energy, actually. And let's have some manifestation cards and then we say goodbye. Okay. So we have purpose. I possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So Scorpio, you are really guided to demonstrate love and manifest love in your connection with this person. You also have past. Through the power of love, I release any stagnant situations or energies in order to transform my heart space. We need to let go of the past. You are really guided. You know, if you want to get this um, connection back on track, it's all about love and it's all, all about letting go of past mistakes and commitment. I dedicate myself to my beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of my very being. I love this. I dedicate myself to my beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of my very being. Oh. Beautiful. Commit to your heart, right? And kindness. I am a humanitarian made of love and I am able to share the, that energy with others. Kindness. I am a humanitarian made of love and I am able to share the, uh, that energy with others. And judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Um, says something about let's not judge people, right? So, um, Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.